535 Islanders News, your local election headquarters with continuing coverage of the Massachusetts primary. As we told you at the top of the hour, Republican Governor Charlie Baker won his primary last night, and now he'll be taking on the winner of the Democratic primary, that's Jay Gonzalez, in November. A look at some of the other highlights and headlines from last night. Secretary of State Bill Galvin defeated fellow Democrat Josh Zakem in a hotly contested primary. Incumbent Senator Elizabeth Warren had no Democratic challenger, so she'll be facing Republican challenger Jeff Deal this November. He won a three-way race last night. Congressman Joe Kennedy cruised to victory, winning his primary with 93% of the vote. But the biggest story of the night came in another congressional race. And Eyewitness News reporter Alexandra Leslie is live in studio with that story. So there was one big upset last night, and it could be one for the history books. This in House District 7 up in the Boston area. Longtime 10-term U.S. Congressman Michael Capuano conceded the race to Ayanna Presley. Presley, a 44-year-old Boston City Councilor, leans on the far left. Now, there's no Republican candidate in this race, so Presley is now poised to be the first African-American female congressperson from Massachusetts. It seems like change is on the way. I am so humbled to be standing before you tonight, victorious. This is life, and this is okay. America is going to be okay. Ayanna Presley is going to be a good congresswoman, and I will tell you that Massachusetts will be well served. Presley is the second progressive woman to oust a longtime Democrat incumbent this primary season. The first you might recall was Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez in New York. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.